we go to the John F. Awarda Athletic Complex at Opacon High School. And Kid Atini starts the game strong here. Watch quarterback Kyle Fulton with the pump fake as he hits Corey Zervis in stride as Zervis sprints down the field. But watch Eric Webster over pack on come out of nowhere as he saves the TD as he drags Zervis down at the 11. And that's a big play, folks, because the Cougars turn the ball over here. Watch linebacker Austin Brown make the pick and return the ball to the 31-yard line for the Chiefs. Okay, Opacon can move the ball, folks. Watch Faye Olabanga break loose here and show a nice burst of speed as he picks up 34 yards to the Kittitini 4, and the Chiefs are knocking on the door. And then Olabanga crashes in that door and caps the 69-yard drive here as he barrels in from a yard out, and the Chiefs take a 7-0 lead midway through the first quarter. Now watch Olabanga do it on defense as he flies in and throws Jake Brook for a 2-yard loss for the Chiefs. And it's Olabanga and John Parker here combining for the sack for a loss of 7 yards, which forces Kittitini to punt. All right, Opacon has some jackrabbits in his backfield. Watch Johan Lara on the counter as he uses his explosive speed for a 25-yard TD run, and the Chiefs hold a 14-0 lead late in the first quarter. Kittitini tries to mount a drive, and it's Jake Brook picking up the first down as he rumbles for 22 yards on the far sideline, but the Cougars would turn the ball over on downs. Okay, Opacon has the ball back, and the Chiefs go to the counter again, and it's Lara again as he turns it upfield for 22 yards and a first down to the 45. And without the benefit of a pass, the Chiefs go on an 81-yard drive that Austin Brown caps here with this four-yard run, and Opacon pushes his lead to 21-0 with eight minutes left in the second quarter. After forcing another Kittitini punt, the Chiefs go back to Johan Lara and watch him shred the Kittitini defense and use his speed to gain 44 yards down to the Kittitini 2. Faye Olbenga then notches his second TD of the night here with this two-yard score and the Chiefs have a commanding 28-0 lead. And it stays that way as the Chiefs come up big with a goal line stand as the pass falls incomplete for Kittitini on fourth down and it's 28-0 Hopakon at the half. Okay, third quarter and Opacon's rushing game is unstoppable, folks. Watch Austin Brown barrel in from five yards out, and the Chiefs go up 35-0 as the clock starts to run. Opacon was not through, however. Watch Faye Olabengo had a monster night break free here for a 69-yard scoring joint, and it's all Opacon 43-0 at the three quarters. Kittitini keeps fighting, though. Watch Kyle Poten find Josh Balecki for this nice 25-yard gain to move the chains for the Cougars. And Poten connects with Corey Zervis here on this nice crossfield pass for 17 yards, but the Cougars could not score as Opacon roars to an impressive 43-0 independent win to keep their playoff hopes alive. Well, we came together real good. Our linemen, uh, they pushed hard tonight. Like uh, they, they, they've uh, filled their shoes all all season long, and tonight was just very impressive. I'm, I'm very impressed with my line. It was great. The linemen were blocking great. Uh, they opened up huge holes for their backs. Uh, the new offense we put in actually worked phenomenally. Everybody was getting the ball. Uh, downfield and it was just awesome. This game was very big for us because we know we needed to beat Kittatinny for ours for us to make it to the playoffs and we just kept pushing and we're glad that we got zero. We, they didn't score at all on us and our offense is just amazing with the running game. It was tremendous for our kids after a tough loss last week at home to Paquanic and uh, you know we had a great week of practice and uh, the kids were real focused tonight. You know we felt we had the opportunity to do some things and it came through obviously on the scoreboard. Um, you know, can't give enough credit to the kids because they rebounded well from the tough loss, and we had a great week of practice. Coaches did a great job getting the kids motivated, putting in a game plan, and then the kids executed tonight to, almost to perfection. This old pack on rushing attack can beat you so many different ways. They can beat you inside, beat you outside, and they were clicking on all cylinders tonight. We started uh, mixing in some new formation with uh, new backers. We we actually haven't done that that system yet, and it's working well. So I, I hope we can continue to do that. Our offense has a lot of weapons, and we use it to our advantage on every play. Like with them, they're big guys, so they pound it up the middle, and then they just give me a sweep to the outside, and I just do my best to score. Faye Olabenga had a big game tonight with three TDs, including a beautiful 69-yarder. Couldn't do any of it without my line. Uh, they did awesome. Uh, the backs. We're great at blocking Johan, Austin, uh, AJ. Uh, the new formation we put in, again, it really helped uh, solidify our blocking attack and uh, just opened up huge holes for me. This win puts a pack on at 4-2 and two, with a big game with Dover coming up next week, but they're right in the hunt for their first playoff berth since 2006.
We've been waiting for a long time for this opportunity, and we uh, we won't let it go. We won't let it go. Coming off that tough one last week, you know, we, we knew we needed this one tonight, and now we have to get ready to go play a very good Dover club next week down in Dover. It's going to be an exciting game. They're you know they're talented. We're pretty talented. It's going to be a lot of fun.